Greetings, this is Gartharis, the Dwarf Taskmaster. Yarg, and all that pirate jargon. Okay, I give you a brief oop date. Whilst you were gone, or uh, actually, whilst I forced you away, um, I had a migrant wave. And what that is, is where other dwarves see my pad and they're all like, dude, I want to live there. So they, they just drop everything they're doing. They cancel all their, you know, utilities, and they just, they just come. And they're like, we are here to live. So now I have, uh, well, let's see how many I have exactly. I have open sesame yarg. Pirate talk. It's really fun. You should try it. Okay, hello, computer. You, um, you have been to my well, yes, no, no? Dwarf therapist? There you are. I have 15. Hmm. 15. Okay, let's see what, what skills I gained. I gained a dyer. Um, a plant gatherer, brewer, processor dude. Uh, a weapon smith. Uh, a weaving dude. Or dudette. I don't know. It's a dude. Yeah, it's a dude. And then... A cloth maker. Mm, and I got another mechanic, which is cool. Um, let's see what military skills I picked up. Ooh! Lord. See, I don't like having females in the military because when they have babies, and they do have babies, I don't know if you are aware how biology works uh, for a dwarf, but the females do have babies. And when they have babies, they carry them with them everywhere. Um, you know, into battle and stuff. And babies sometimes get stuck on things. And then the babies are no more and there's little baby bits all over the place and uh, the dwarf becomes extremely sad and you know I can kind of figure out why but as you see I'm, predominantly my expedition here is feminine I got three four five six seven eight nine so more than half of my dwarves are female uh, they make uh, perfectly good laborers but they tend to carry babies into battle, which makes them bad military individuals. Um, okay, also, we have this lady who could possibly carry her. She's got all these military skills. She also has quite a few social skills. She's a good organizer and a good appraiser. Now, organizer is good for manager types, but I got two of those guys. I got a comedian here. What are you, a comedian? You private joker. I got three appraisers now. Man, look at all these social skills. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's exciting. These are exciting times that we live in. Exciting. Okay, so let me give you a quick update. What I've done. Um, I had to build a uh, still because I was running low on brew. <laughs> also built a craft shop because uh, I had that craft dwarf. You remember he was just standing over here doing nothing? Um, yeah, well, I got him crafting nonstop now. Um, I've cleared out a lot of this. Um, my dwarves are still digging it. I built a farm over here. Now there's, uh, just let, me, let me just talk about farms for a second. We've got a building, and we got farm plot. I already have one, as you can see right here, but it's a letter P. Now you see how this X is red, and it's red in a lot of places? It's because you can't have a farm just anywhere. It has to be on soil. Soil or, and I found out, sand. Hmm, I have a sand farm. Yes, I do. So I had to dig this little hole here to make the uh, to make the farm plot. Now five by five is what I did here. You know, five by five. Yeah, five by five, which is sufficient. I mean, I used all my plump spawns, and you can, as you can see, it's not even. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's, there's like eight um, squares there with with uh, plump helmets in there. And basically, what you do, um, you go back to Q to set the uh, building tasks and preferences and as you see here on the right tell you the four seasons spring summer autumn or winter and what to grow in each one as you go through cycle a for spring i'm growing plump helmets b for summer plump helmets c for autumn plump helmets and d for winter plump helmets do you see a pattern a pattern yes i'm growing plump helmets all the time dwarves will eat them and you can make brew out of them therefore they are the perfect thing to grow brilliant I like it I like it a lot so there's that now we come over here with our cursor 
and you can see I have some beds here. I have laid some beds down in a room and I put some doors down so there's not so much traffic. Um, if you queue, queue, letter Q, over a door, you can set it to forbidden passage or no pets allowed, or I can set it as an internal where it just it doesn't do anything. It's just a door. It doesn't block anything. Um, can't be locked or whatever. But this, um, if you see if you hover near a bed, it says make bedroom. So I can go to like this bed right here and hit the R button and it'll say, well, size your room. And since I have doors, this will not size beyond this room. But if I didn't have doors, it would spill out, this blue area would spill out into the hallway. So once I size that up there, I got the whole room in case. I hit the enter button. It says, oh yeah, I got some more options here. I can make it a barracks or a dormitory. And since right now, it's a you know, I don't have individual rooms for my dwarves. The best thing to do is to make it a dormitory. So I go to the letter D, and it is now a dormitory. And I will call it Place of. Well, that's a horrible spelling ever. Place of snoozing. Okay. Boom! The place of snoozing has thusly been named. Okay. So escaping is done. Come back over here to this dormitory place and this place of snoozing. Do you see? It is brilliant. Okay, so that's done. Um, now I've cleared out these areas down here um, or started mining them out. I placed some dining rooms or some dining tables. And if you if you go over to dining table, I think it I did the first one. Oh yeah, right there. I made the a dining hall. So let me. Let me free this table. Boom. Okay. So you go over a table and you hit R, same as you did with the bedroom, and you make a dining room. I don't have doors in this, so I didn't want it to spill over. So I just, you know, hit enter. It's good enough. And you see the option here on the right. It says meeting hall. No. Well, I want to change that to yes. That means any idle dwarves will come here instead of hanging out where the wagons were. Yavor? Yavor! Okay. So we understand that. So we have a bedroom. We have a dining room. We have an overflow um, stockpile because this one was pow, full in a heartbeat, right? Full in a heartbeat, right? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Okay, um, food and other stuffs and woods. Now, remember we were clearing all these stones out, right? And I told you you don't want a stone stockpile. Well, here is why. I go back to the, my, main, my main menu. I hit I for zones. I come over to my little dump pile right here, and I remove it. So you hit enter twice, and it's gone now. So now, if you look, the stones are still there. And if I K over these for the look around option, you come up here. Booyaka sha. It's all the stuff. Pages and pages and pages and pages of it. Uh, you scroll with the plus or minus. Um, but if you look, there's little brackets around each one of these. If I hit F, I can claim it. Right? You can claim that. And how do we claim large areas as things? We go to D for designation, B for set properties and items, and C for reclaim, right? Reclaim items. You come over here and you go tap, tap. Now, everything in that pile will be reclaimed. When he, this guy right here, this mason, decides to make something and he needs stone, he's going to go to the nearest piece of stone. Bloop, 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 bloop. What do you see right there? What is this? What is it? Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love its face. Okay. Now, we still have all this uh, economic, or not economic, but metal stone laying around. So what we're going to do with these three areas right here is we're going to make those three areas right there metal stone. So I need to finish digging them out, clear them out, and set that um, stockpile property. So let's let this run for a second and see what happens. Now, I should only have a few idlers because i got a lot of stuff going on. You see these guys are running over here grabbing the uh, the gems out of there? They're like, oh, yeah. There's all kinds of coolness going on there. Now, you notice that my, my uh, stockpiles are starting to get kind of full. So what you want to do is you want to come over to your carpenter with a Q to the thing, and you see he's constructing bins, bins you can use in stockpiles. Basically, a bin goes right here in this spot, and that bin will hold 10 items. So it, 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 it is basically, effectively, 10 stockpile places. So all these little crafts, like rings and whatnot, they'll go into the bins. So I want a lot of bins. So add a task, 
B is going to be a bed, so we obviously don't want that. We want construct wooden bin, which is N. So you can go bagoosh, 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 bagoosh. All right. Now, I'll come over here to the mason and see what he's building. Nothing. Psh, idle workers? No, thank you. We're going to have you doing uh, coffers. Coffers is what people keep their stuff. So we're just going to go A-H, A-H, A-H. And we're going to have him make coffers until his little freaking dwarfy fingers bleed. <laughs> Task master. Um, and this guy over here, let's see. I don't know how many drinks we have. I have 80. That is sufficient. Basically, you want to keep this between like 60 and 100. I don't need to make any more right now. And I think each brew that you do on this on the on the still adds 10 to your drinks because he makes it like a rock pot at a time then i'll go over here to this guy this is my crafts dwarf he's making stone items stone crafts if you see this little a here that's active r means repeat so i can go in there i can toggle a repeat on that task by hitting the r now i have him rock task or uh, rock craft rock craft rock pot and a rock pot basically are these little things right here which used to stu store food and drink in. So basically, he's going to keep the rock pots flowing, but he's only going to do it every third item is going to be a rock pot. I mean, I could just have, you know, make rock crafts repeat and then three pots, but I have it all on repeat. So he'll make a craft, he'll make a craft, he'll make a pot, he'll make a craft, a craft, and a pot. You see what I'm saying? So that's a good way to do it because you always want crafts and you're almost always going to need pots. Uh, if you have too many pots, you can always go up here and just drop that off. And then when your brewer says, hey, dude, I need pots, you could put it back on. I mean, you're going to get warnings down here. So-and-so canceled task because his big toe hurts or so-and-so canceled task because item is blocked or whatever it is. You'll get the warnings. Uh, if you want to go back and review your warnings, if you go up here to uh, view announcements, there is nothing to catch in the central swamps. Our fisher went to catch something. There was nothing there. So he said, and he gave up and he walked away. Uh, aside from announcements, there are reports. So we have reports. The water buffalo, the water buffalo bull is fighting. Um, obviously, the water buffalo bull was fighting something, and I missed it. Uh, it probably kicked a, a badger sow's butt or something. Who knows? Anyway. Oh, big thing. Whenever you get a migrant wave, Go back to your zone, hit Shift N, and make sure they didn't add any. If they sometimes they'll bring animals with them, and the animals just sit up here and starve to death. So you want to make sure you add them to your pasture. Okay, so that's covered. Let's let these guys finish their thing. Finish their thing. Finish their thing. I see. I got a few idle dwarves here. So what I go is a DBD for dump, and we'll dump this stuff out. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh wait, I forgot. I cleared my zone. So what you got to do is you got to make you got to make a new zone. Like I, oh, I do this all the time. I'll put, I'll, I'll go back up here to my spot, and I just put the zone back. I do it, I do it quite frequently, just like that. Then you come down here with DBD for dump, and you go get rid of all this business, uh, just in case I accidentally grab the plump helmet that that dude is carrying. No, I didn't. Okay. All right. So let me explain some basics on tasks. What we have are several types of tasks. We have food hauler, item hauler, furniture hauler, um, and refuse hauler. Those are the those are the four main ones. A food hauler is somebody who will grab food from wherever it's at and take it to the, the, the stockpile. And a lot of the times what you run into with these guys is you have like food hauling on for your mason and your mason decides you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna haul food all day and I'm not gonna do any of those jobs that you told me to do so a lot of the, the your your high priority guys like your mason your carpenter your crafts dwarf you want to take the food hauling off of those guys so let's do that real fast since we have ample dwarves actually let me pause this I don't want to run a muck while I'm not looking God only knows what they'll get into so carpenter come over here take off all these haulings besides burial and Cleaning is just like cleaning up blood, but we don't even have soap yet. So we want them to recover wounded uh, and feed patients and prisoners. Yeah, actually, no, I don't want them feeding patients. Uh, our miners, yeah, they don't do anything but mine. Uh, our mason, he's bringing all this stuff because he's got a lot of jobs. He's busy. 
He's a busy, busy man. I'm too busy to be feeding wounded and prisoners. And recovering wounded. Actually, no. Everybody needs to recover wounded. Ah, no, screw it. They're just wounded. Yeah, mm, I just spill over myself. That's awesome! Okay, Crafts Dwarf. You are not hauling anything. Your face is ugly, but your mother does love you. Okay, so we commit the changes. Boom. All right, we'll come back to this. And you know, as people's go back to doing what people's is doing. And they're like, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so we're clearing this out pretty good. You know, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, I forgot we were having him make rock coffers. Okay, he's almost done making those rock coffers, all ten of them. So what we're going to do... Um, let's have him make a few more tables and a few more thrones. And then we'll have him make... Uh, I didn't die, I'm just thinking. And a few more doors. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Okay, come over here to this guy and add bin, add bin, add bin, bin, bin. Okay, so get to work, foo. Okay, it's all done. He got nothing active, which means he probably had got it in his head that he needed to carry some stuff. Okay, so I still got 80 drinks, so I'm good there. Now. I got a couple of stockpiles I want to do specifically um, before we get too far into this. So I'm going to go this and I'm going to go gem. And we're going to do two small gem stockpiles. We're going to do one here, right inside the gate. So in case anybody wants to break in, they can. And we're going to go halfway on this one. I got my hand over my mouth. It's a bad habit for a commentator, let me tell you. And then we're going to make another one right there okay now I'm gonna go I'm, gonna, I'm dragging my freaking cord all over the place I'm just quality service today people quality quality we'll set this up real fast we'll go down to where are you going oh there we go going to gems boom now I don't want any cut gems on this side so I want to forbid and forbid which would be the F so this this side will only be rough gems and this side will only be cut gems. I know it's a little particular, but this gives, at a, at a quick glance, this allows me to say how much of what I got. Now, a rough gem is just a rough gem. A cut gem um, is the pretty side. Like, an, like a, a rough diamond is ugly, but a cut diamond is beautiful. So, there's a good example. A rough diamond looks like a piece of, like a big chunk of salt or something. But uh, a cut diamond is very highly polished. It's... Uh, Got a lot of cool little angles to catch the light and whatnot. So that's that. Now they're going to start dragging these down here once I go up to this stockpile. Oh, see, look at that. I did we just missed that announcement. Okay. Destot logger bag of jig thick and fish dwarf. Cancel store item in bin. Job item is placed, which means he meant to go place an item in the, in the bin, and somebody probably moved the bin. That's probably what it is. You see what I'm saying? That guy's just carrying a bin right down here to this. He's putting a bin in each one of these. Then he's going to grab this stuff and move it over once I tell him to forbid gems in here. So I go to this, go down here to gems, and I say forbid. Forbid gems. So, oh, I, actually I want to disable gems. There you go. So you disable gems, uh, and they'll start moving them out, I believe. Yep, they should start moving them out. Yeah, there they go. They're already carrying them out. She's like, gems don't go here. They go over here. All right. Now that I have an ample amount of gems uh, there's one thing that I need to do but I currently as you'll see the only gem cutter I have is also my crafts dwarf so what I'm gonna what I could do is take one of these guys who ain't good at nothing and like where's he at one of these guys has got no skills he's a dyer yeah you know what you are dude you're now a professional gem cutter hmm look at that that's what we call a promotion so now I can go back in here go to Build workshop jeweler. Mm, you see where I'm going with this? And I'll put it right there. Skadoosh. We're gonna make it out of rock salt because we got so much of that stuff it's falling out of our freaking ears. Bam. Alright. So they're gonna run down here and build that right directly. Come on now, make it happen. 
Okay, now you notice that I have no mining active right now. This, oh, you see all these little, little joined pathways here? You notice I don't have any joined pathways here because this is going to be the way down to my real fortress. And they're gonna have to go through all this crap to get back here. I'm gonna have a drawbridge here and a drawbridge here. Does that make sense? It does make sense. You know why it makes sense? Because it's awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to mine designation D for mine and connect these down here, just like this. Boom. Then when I come out, my miners will be like, oh dude, we got work, let's go. Regulators, mount up. Okay, so there's the basics. We got it all cleaned up a little bit. Uh, uh, we'll, actually, you know what? Let's wrap this here because I've been chatting for a while. We'll wrap this here. And in the next episode, I will show you my layout for the next couple of floors down. Okay? Okay. Sounds like an awesome idea. Garth, I'm really looking forward to it. And YouTube, I'm really looking forward to giving it to you. Oh, yeah. Dwarf Fortress rocks.